you guys spent over 3.7 million minutes watching my YouTube videos and that's a lot of time. One of my most frequently asked questions is how do I edit my YouTube videos and what music do you use? Whether you're an aspiring content creator on YouTube or Instagram or you just have a video that you have to edit for a class project, today I'm going to share with you my top 10 video editing hacks, my top tips on how to cut, color, and add music to your videos. Special thank you to my friends at Squarespace and Epidemic Sounds for sponsoring today's video. For a full written guide, be sure to check out my blog, fashionbyally.com, which will be linked down below. If we can get this video to 12,000 thumbs up, I will definitely make a part two to this video, which is how I edit my videos on my phone. I have so much love for my YouTube channel and all of my supporters, so I want to be able to give back to you guys and to share all of my knowledge that I've learned over the years in a condensed 10 minute video. If you're new to my channel, be sure to subscribe. It's totally free. Just click the button here or down below. Alrighty, so without further ado, let's get started. To my bedroom. So I've been on YouTube for over eight years now and I am so excited to share with you all of my tips and tricks that I've learned over the years. This is the area where I like to edit all of my videos, where I create all of my YouTube magic. So let's dive right in. Today I'm going to demonstrate how I edit my videos on Final Cut Pro 10. overview, libraries hold events and events hold projects and I like to start a new project with every video that I edit. is to set your video dimensions. Choose the optimal video dimensions for YouTube or Instagram. So for YouTube, I like to go with a 1280 by 1920. On Instagram, I like to create portrait style videos or square videos. Lastly, if you're editing vertical videos for stories like Instagram stories or YouTube stories, the dimension is 1080 by 1920. One issue that I constantly battled with in the beginning when editing my videos was running out of space. So with Final Cut Pro, they create optimized files and rendered files. The third video hack is to leave your files in place when you're transferring or importing the files into Final Cut. Final Cut likes to make duplicates of every single file, including video, music, and pictures. So just leave those files in place. Create a rough cut. To keep everything organized and me feeling sane, I like to use a solid background as a placeholder in between each section of my video. Smart. video, I like to organize it in a similar way. I have an intro section with just music, an intro with me talking, a middle section, and then an outro. And sometimes I like to include bloopers with Bella or just funny things that happen throughout the day when I'm filming. I use solid backgrounds as a placeholder for each of these sections to keep everything organized. Find music. Music is so crucial to any video. It can add another level of dimension, tone, and feel. My favorite resource for licensing music is Epidemic Sound. As a creator, it's a huge struggle to find quality music libraries with fresh and modern songs. I love listening to staff pick songs on Epidemic Sound for inspiration. One tip, if you find a song that you really, really like, you can also search based on similarity. I like to edit to the sound and beat of the music. You can also search based on mood happy, tropical, electronic. You can also search based on beats per minute for faster or slower paced music. And lastly, you could download songs in different ways. 
so a song can have a full mix or you can download a stem like an instrumental. As a YouTuber, I like to talk live and I like to talk to you guys. So I can now choose and select just the instrumental. I like instrumentals because I want music to add to the mood of my videos, whereas vocals can sometimes compete with live talking. Check out the link in the description box for a 30 day free trial to Epidemic Sound. There's no commitment to trying it out. Now Bella and I are going to share with you my favorite shortcuts on the Final Cut keyboard. When I edit, I like to use the keyboard to create shortcuts. So my favorite is Command B to cut, um, Space Bar just to play my videos, V to hide a clip in case I want to see what the video looks like without a specific clip, and there are so many more shortcuts. I'm going to overlay it here so you can see it. You can definitely pause the video here just to take a screenshot, but these are some of my favorites that I use all the time. One mistake I used to make was color correcting each clip individually. I did this for years and trust me, this was tough. When I color correct videos now, I create color presets. I select all of the clips that I want to color with Command A and I double click on the color preset. This method isn't perfect because lighting can vary, but it's a great shortcut to save time. Step seven, now let's add some graphics. I love adding cute little cartoon effects or little sparkles here and there just to jazz up my videos. I always try to use the same effects, fonts, and colors on my videos. help you define your personal brand. headaches that I get while I'm editing is running out of storage space. It is such a huge struggle. When editing, if you run into a storage space issue, be sure to delete your generated files. Delete the rendered unused files and it will save you so much space. is to save your masterpiece. You've spent all of this time editing and now it's time to finally save and share it with the world. So on Final Cut, I like to share directly to YouTube so it makes it super, super simple, seamless, and easy. Step 10, now that you've saved your video, now it's time to store it. I personally like to store my videos on my hard drive and an online storage solution like Dropbox. On my phone, I can also access Dropbox so I can grab those videos whenever I need them to upload onto social media. <sighs> and that is a wrap. That is how I edit my YouTube videos. And it'll usually take anywhere between 20 to 30 hours for me to edit a video. I am so proud to say that I'm still a YouTuber who edits her own videos. I am still involved with most of the entire production process. Be sure to check out my blog, fashionbyally.com to see a full written step-by-step -step guide on how I edit my videos in case you didn't catch everything I said in this video here. I also included my camera gear and my favorite equipment, so if you're interested in starting your own YouTube channel, be sure to go check that out as well. I think one of the biggest challenges to starting a website is just knowing where to begin. 
I think it's so important nowadays to have an online portfolio, a blog or a website. The idea of designing my own website was super daunting, but Squarespace made it so simple. They have hundreds and hundreds of designer templates, amazing award-winning customer service that's around 24 seven. So you can message them whenever if you have any questions or concerns, they're right there every step of the way. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. Visit squarespace.com slash fashionbyalley when you're ready to launch your website to get 10% off. Fun fact guys, Belle actually likes to sit on my lap while I edit my videos. I know this is probably not the most comfortable position to sit in, but this is her favorite spot. <laughs>